Hello, my name is Darren Hart, Senior Service Technician at Raypack. After watching this video, you will be able to connect the stainless steel venting to an X-Therm. Improper installation, adjustment, alteration, service or maintenance can cause property damage, personal injury, exposure to hazardous materials or loss of life. Failure to install a condensate drain in the venting system will void all warranties on this heater. Follow Raypack and the vent manufacturer's instructions for installation and location of the condensate drain. Condensate drain must be trapped and primed with water to prevent flue gas leakage and must be routed to an appropriate container for treatment before disposal as required by local codes. For units connected to gas vents or chimneys, vent installations shall be in accordance with the U.S. National Fuel Gas Code or Canadian B149 or applicable local building codes. The tools and material that you will need are a drill with a 5 16 inch driver, a combustion analyzer, a measuring tape, and zip ties. Category 4 approved vent, such as AL294C stainless steel, must be used. We use DuraVent in this demonstration. The components you will need are appliance adapter with a test port, 18 inch vent pipe, a boot tee, a condensate drain cap, and a condensate hose. Install the appliance adapter with test port and tighten the restraining clamp using your drill. The adapter has a rubber plug that should be facing the side of the unit. Install the 18 inch stainless steel pipe and tighten the clamp. Install the boot tee into the stainless steel pipe and tighten the clamp. Install the drain cap on the bottom of the boot tee and tighten the clamp. Connect the condensate drain hose to the drain cap. Form a loop no less than 4 inches in diameter in the condensate drain hose to act as a trap and secure with zip ties. Route the drain hose to an appropriate condensate treatment system. Raypack recommends a minimum of 36 inches from the rear of the unit to the outside of the vent tee to allow adequate space for plumbing and service. The boot tee should slope 1 quarter inch per foot towards the unit or away for proper drainage. Use a measuring tape and adjust as necessary. Continue installing the remainder of the vent material until it exits the building. Be sure the vent complies with the National Fuel and Gas Code. Spacers must be used when penetrating walls and ceilings. Any horizontal run of vent pipe must be supported a minimum of every five feet. It is important to check your unit's combustion. Remove test port plug. Adjust the combustion analyzer probe to extend only to the middle of the vent pipe. Insert the probe tip into the vent and thread it in until secure. Run the combustion analysis with the unit at full fire and properly adjust your CO2 and your CO. After the combustion test is complete, remove the probe and reinstall the test port plug. The venting system should be examined at least once a year. Check all joints and vent pipe connections for tightness, corrosion, or deterioration. For more information about this product, visit our website at raypack.com. Please subscribe to the Raypack channel on YouTube for future how-to videos.